Good afternoon. Today, the Holy Spirit has uh, impressed upon my heart some verses from the Gospel of Luke. These verses have been verses that the Holy Spirit brings back to me from time to time because I need to hear it, and I thought maybe it would be helpful for you too. So from Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11, listen to this story. One day, as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, the people were crowding around him and listening to the word of God. He saw at the water's edge two boats, left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from shore. Then he sat down and he taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them, and they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything, and followed him. For many years now, the Holy Spirit continues to speak to me from these verses of Scripture. I've found times in my life where I've really uh, searched out what uh, other people have come to know about God and uh, spent time reading uh, journals and autobiographies of uh, heroes of the faith. I've searched the Word of God and uh, spent much time thinking about uh, how these people learned about their journeys and, and what they learned about God on the way. These verses uh, the Holy Spirit continues to bring back to me because of what happens right after Jesus teaches. He tells Peter, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. That's not where you fish. You fish in the shallow waters and and Simon Peter tried the best that he could to um, share with Jesus that we've tried all night and we haven't caught any anything and he just wanted to tell Jesus that's not the way you fish. But because of their respect for Jesus by the way he had taught and shared with the people, they decided to try. They ended up catching more fish than uh, they ever knew would be possible, and, and their boats began to sink. Their nets were breaking, and that just was unheard of. You see, I think why the Holy Spirit continues to bring this to me is there are many points in my life where I need to move out into the deeper water. Sometimes that's a little fearful to do because I don't know what God might say to me, you know, what my, God might ask me to do. Sometimes it's difficult because I, I'm not comfortable moving out into the deeper waters. Sometimes it feels as though that wouldn't be very fruitful, so I'm not going to do it. The truth is the Holy Spirit's calling us I think especially right now, to move into the deeper waters of faith. You see, most of us are sitting at home and 
have some extra time to do just that. To move out into the deeper waters of faith and find out what God has for us there. Could you do that now? Could you take some time to be with Jesus and allow the boat to drift out and go a little bit deeper on your spiritual journey than you have ever gone before? I guess the question is, you have the time, but the question is, will you use your time to do something like that? To learn more about God? To hear deeper what God has to say to you? And to grow in your faith? Let us pray. Lord, we come to you now as we search for things to do. And we know that one of those things that you call us to do on the spiritual journey is to move out into the deeper waters. How comfortable it is to always be in the shallow waters and that's what we're used to. That's what we're comfortable with. But maybe now in this time is a time for us to venture out a little bit to search out the scriptures in a deeper way, to take some time to memorize some important verses, to really search deeply within our hearts to see how you're calling us to grow on this spiritual journey. So Lord, we pray that you would give us the boldness and the courage to grab a hold of your hand and move out into the deep waters and to see the tremendous catch that you have prepared for us. That catch that will help us to know you better and help us to guide other people to salvation in Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for what you're doing during this time and thank you for continuing to invite us into the deeper waters. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. May God bring some rich blessings to you as you find deeper waters to fish in today and in the days to come.